Hi, welcome to Canada Tried and Tested. Year on year, Canada government invites new permanent residents to come to country through various immigration program. Now, many come as permanent resident as this is one of the first step to become Canadian citizen. In today's video, I will run you through various immigration program which Canada government has and give you information so that you can plan and strategize which program fits you the best. And this you can do on your own without going to any agent. All you need to do is watch this video from start to end and don't miss any of the points. And if you are a new subscriber, please go ahead and press the subscription button as well as bell notification. I bring information related to Canada, my own experience and many money saving tips which will make you successful in Canada. Who is an immigrant? Immigrant is someone who has chosen to come to a new country to settle and contribute to its economy. For Canada, these are mostly economic immigrants who are called foreign skilled workers who are chosen based on six major criteria and they are assigned overall score. Now if you go to the agent, he will show you the minimum eligibility criteria and lure you with all fake promises. You have to remember that for you to come as a foreign skilled worker in express entry category, you really need to know the competitive score for which you need to know what the current trend is, how you can baseline your score, see where you stand and how you can target with the right approach. It's very easy, simple, straightforward. I'll be making my future videos where I will be touching upon how the scoring system works, where you stand, you will get to know instantly. Also, you will know which program suits you better. Also, if you find that you are not competitive enough for the express entry system, don't lose your heart. There are many programs, including provincial nomination program, where the criteria is set, but it is little lower so that the province can invite these skilled workers. I will be taking you through each province and their requirement so that you get this idea also in my future videos. Then there is family class which is basically sponsored by the spouses who are already here as a permanent resident or relative based on the criteria set. In addition, Canada also accepts refugees who are seeking protection outside their country because of certain reasons. Whatever class you come through, as a foreign skilled worker, you will be screened to protect health safety and security of Canadian society. This happens when the visa application is submitted after which the document goes through a close scrutiny where it is also checked that the applicant does not pose any security threat. Health check is also mandatory to check that the new permanent resident is not burdening the healthcare system. Okay, as I said, for the economy skilled worker, it is point based system. So you really need to know where you stand in terms of point and are you competitive enough to get into this category. This is the first way to determine where you stand. And after having a competitive score, it is just a cakewalk for you. Now let me show you this chart. You see here, the ultimate goal for anyone who comes here as permanent resident is to become a Canadian citizen. Now to become a Canadian citizen, you must first become a permanent resident and meet these criteria. So you see, by understanding the scoring system and how competitive it is, you can strategize and see where you can make up for the lack of point, including looking at the option of temporary visa, which is student as well as work permit and gain some point in future. In most of the cases, this is not even required. And even if it is the case, you will be able to better analyze that do I really need to do this to get a PR or should I extend my work experience in my home country and then come here directly. Okay, you can also get permanent residency if you are an investor, entrepreneur or self-employed. Basically the idea is that you should be a job creator and you should be able to employ people. Let us also look at the temporary visa route which actually in many cases is not even required and people just waste their money without even thinking that how they could improve their score while staying back in the home country, which we will be seeing in future video. Now, the first temporary visa is student visa. It makes more sense if you have just finished your high school and then you come here to study in Canada. The expenses in terms of educational fee will be very high, but you can recover this as a return on investment 
because after you finish your study in Canada, you also get opportunity to work in Canada. So you must choose this also wisely. Many people make this mistake, which impacts them long term. Don't worry, I'll be doing video on this also, where I will be taking you in detail of how to check the designated learning institute, how to be confident of the program what you choose and how it will impact your work permit options. Now coming to the work permit. Here in this work permit, there are two categories. One is open work permit. The other one is closed work permit. Open work permit. Say you come as a student after you finish your study and you had done the right program. Then you can go for this option where you can choose to work with any employee. If your spouse is already in Canada as a permanent residency, then this route is also applicable to you for you to come to Canada. Closed work permit. Say here your company sends you an assignment to Canada or the company gets you to Canada. In this case, you have restriction of working for the same company and in a profile what has been listed in the labor market assessment index. In both the cases, once you are here in Canada and start to gain experience year on year, the point starts to accumulate. See, this also helps if you were not having a competitive score. Also, when you work on work permit, you are considered under Canadian experience class. So friends, I've heard so many horror stories of how agents misguided individuals and they lost opportunity to come to Canada. So why don't you use this free resource and also do some deliberate check from your end after which the process is very easy and transparent. You will enjoy this journey. Remember, if any agent tells you that you can come on visitor visa and then get work here, it is absolutely illegal. Don't do it. You will only lose peace of mind and money. An agent is going to make fortune out of it. So don't get into those misery. Follow the right procedure and you will be here in Canada without any stress. Okay guys, I hope you found this video interesting as well as informative. There are many more videos which I have lined up for you to be used as a resource and live your Canadian dream. So please go ahead and subscribe, like, share and comment. Let me know how this video was or if you have any question. See you then. Thank you.